got this for Christmas. My parents got it for me for like my juice. And I was like, this is gonna be so perfect for my milk. I'm so excited to use it for the first time. I just cleaned her out and everything. The milk is going. So I personally prefer almond milk. Like I've tried a bunch of different kinds of nuts, mixtures of nuts, oats, sunflower seeds. By far, almonds have beat everything else. And I would say cashews are, wow, I'm just like in pitch black. Cashews are definitely like the runner up to almonds, but no, I don't even want cashew milk to be honest. Like I just want almond milk because I don't know, that one's just the absolute best. So, and I haven't made milk in a while. And I wanted to do that. I'm so thrilled, so pumped. That's what we're doing. I haven't washed my face yet or brushed my teeth. Should I do that now? Should we do that together? I kind of don't want to. I've kind of been wanting those wrist things to stop the water, but I've never gotten them because I was like, dude, that's so stupid. Like, I need to stop spending my money on things that I really don't need. And so I haven't gotten that stuff. But recently, like, I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it actually, like, makes a really big difference. So I don't know, because water always runs down my arms. Like, I literally drench the entire surface. I think it's just because the functioning of these sinks, like, the water pours right out into the middle. And, like, just the way that this is designed, like, this, like, pokes out so much. So I can't just, like, lean my face down directly because I just smack my forehead every time. So I have to, like, lean off to the side. And whichever side that is just gets completely drenched. And, like, the whole countertop just ends up completely soaked. So it's just such a fun time. I guess I can show you, show you what it looks like whenever I wash my face. Oh, look at my products. Oh, my gosh. I got back onto the Curology because this stuff was the only, like, product that actually cleared my skin. In. So I got face wash, I got the moisturizer, and then the star of the show. And then I just recently got this to try it out because I felt like I just needed a little bit more in the morning time. And so far, so great. It's been working, which I'm surprised about because usually my skin is very sensitive and something like this with salicylic acid would really just not be good for my skin. But so far, it's been good. This combination that I have going on has been a success so far and my skin is getting so much better. I still do have like a lot of dark marks and like all this up this is the only pimple on this side of my face everything else is like flat and smooth and just dark marks from previous pimples but on this side i think that's a pimple this one that one's still a bump and yeah, that's it. Those are the only two. And this side recently was like the side that was getting way worse than this side. That's always happens with me. You know, like one side of my face always gets worse than the other. Does that happen to you? Oh my God, the milk is done. It's, it's beeping. It's beeping. It's done. You see that setting? The raw milk setting. Okay. We're hooked up on the tripod now. Okay, so here's the process. Usually like I wash it right away, but for video purposes, I'm not gonna do that. Cheesecloth, or what is this? Like a milk cloth thing in a pitcher. Put that in because we need to strain the milk because there's like chunks and stuff. Not like huge chunks, but you know, strain out all the stuff so we can get just the milk. I didn't put any sweetener or anything. I literally just put almonds in water. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, maybe sweetener. I, I wasn't feeling the sweetener today, so that's why I held off. Okay, so then we just pour her in. It lasts for like three to five days. I like to do a gentle strain because like if I do it too forceful and too fast, I'm squeezing out little bits of the almonds, I guess, into the milk and I don't want that. So I do like a little bit slower of a pace and then I'll show you what the leftovers look like. Look, it's literally like a milking cow. <laughs> we don't do that here. I was thinking about that, like to get cow's milk, like what those cows probably gotta go through, like their udders are probably just like raw. And I feel so bad for them. Do not support the animal cruelty at all. At all. It makes me wanna fight someone. It makes me wanna do what they're doing to them, back to them. And I want, I just wanna put them in the animal shoes so then they can really understand and experience and see what they're doing. Here's all the leftovers. <laughs> in their sack. And you can use this for other things. Like you can totally like reuse all of this. I haven't reused it at all yet. I just like throw it on my mom's plants. It gives you recipes, things that you can do with it. Here's the pulp. Look at it. It's so cool. It's kind of like sand. Oh, 
like wet sand. Should I try it? Oh my god, I've never tried it. I'm kind of scared. Mm. Mm. I mean, it's definitely not terrible. It just has a weird texture. And like, it's kind of dry. Like, it makes me need like water. Anyways, that's the process. And now we're not done. Now we're gonna transfer it and we're gonna strain it for a second time. Get it as clear as we can. Beautiful. Oh wow, yeah, that was like barely any. See, that's what happens when you do a slow strain. And here's our milk. Oh, this is so cute. This is like the kind of bottle that you get from like a farmer's market or something. I don't know, like this reminds me of like the old days. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Look at my milk. We gotta try it now. It's still like, it's nice and warm. I just drink it out of here. I don't want it to like be messy. Hmm. It's kind of plain. Okay, but now I know. So it tastes more like water than like almonds actually. I only did two scoops of almonds. Like it comes with this little scooper. I've experimented with like different amounts of nuts and stuff. This time I tried two. When I first used this, I did like four scoops. For next time, definitely do like three or four. I haven't made almond milk in a long time because I just kept experimenting with different nuts. And like almond milk was the first milk that I made and it was so good. It's just watery, you know, a little underwhelming to be honest. Maybe it could use a little sweetener. That's okay, maybe I could just make like another batch. It doesn't take long, it literally takes like 10 minutes to make the milk. Actually, low key, low key, high key, doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, wow, I'm crazy. Should I rinse this out? Nah. The Blue Diamond brand, this is the brand. Literally, like I've tried other brands of almonds, you know. This is the brand. So I'm gonna do four because I'm gonna be mixing these two batches together and that one's kind of watery and so it'll just, hopefully it's balancing. Or I should do five, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do five. Wait, what am I at? That was two? Three. Four. No, just kidding, I'm gonna do four. I'm also gonna put a little bit of salt in because it like needed that saltiness. Also gonna do a little bit of sweetener. I prefer agave, but I only have pure maple right now, so that's okay. Just do a little bit. Okay, sure. Should I do more salt? <laughs> I don't know. Cause like I'm trying to think about that batch too. We can't over salt. So it's on, then I hit select, and I want raw milk in it. That's the first choice that it picks, so that's what I want. But you see all these different options, cereal milk, soy milk, smoothie, soup, chunky, soup, porridge, cleaning, it's great. So then you just hit start and that's it. And then whenever it's done, it will just beep like it did last time. And now, while that's going, I'm going to wash my face. For the morning time, I use this one and just the moisturizer. Okay, wow! That's the best that it's ever been, actually. Do a little dollop. Let me show you the sink. <laughs> okay. Not too bad, all that soaked but I don't think anything is really on that side. Yeah. Usually it would be like the entire area is actually drenched, but I did good today. <gasps> She's full. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I haven't even tried the mixture. I'm on the phone, multitasking. Let's give her a go. Better. Okay, well that was my milk process. I'm so glad you we're here to enjoy it with me and see my new container. I absolutely am in love. I made a hot cocoa with my plant milk. I gotta say, I don't really like the nutty flavor. It throws me off, it's not what I'm used to. And it kind of gives me like an ick. So I threw some peppermint in there because it didn't taste very chocolatey either. And it definitely tastes way better now. Let me try it again. Yeah, it definitely kind of cuts the Nuttiness, it cuts it a lot. I'm finally gonna work on this meal prep list because I haven't even made anything from this list yet. Haven't made tofu bowl, buffalo tofu, 
wrap vegan enchiladas before. Yeah, I'm trying new things and I'm very excited because I want to expand like my meals and what I'm eating so I'm not bored with what I eat, you know? I also bought this like book a while ago and it's just like a sketchbook but I decided to turn it into like my little vegan cookbook and so I started doing that a while ago like vegan broccoli cheddar soup. It's like the Panera one which was really good and I just wrote down like all the ingredients and the instructions, chickpea cookie dough bites I got in here, and that's all I have because <laughs> it took a lot longer than I thought. So, but yeah, I have this. That would be cool to like eventually fill out. So yeah, we doing that later, and then we can make some vegan enchiladas because that's what I'm gonna be making tonight, and I'm so excited. And it's made with like ingredients that I don't usually use that often either. So I'm excited. I think it's going to be good. I stretched a little bit this morning. I woke up and my left hammy was so tight. I was like, oh my god. I wanted to just talk about the chemical, the chemical thing. <laughs> like it my face wash and stuff that I'm using on my face because I know I've said in previous videos that I don't want to like be putting all those chemicals on my face and my skin and my body and I still agree with that like I'm not disagreeing with that anymore like I still really believe in that but like I just kept not eating clean and kept not like taking care of my energy so my skin was showing that and I just literally like just decided to take the lazy route and just get topical things instead of just like doing it the natural way which I know not like my goals of like who I want to be and like in what I want to share I mean it's just real life it's just what's going on in my life right now and I just don't care that much honestly about like using other products on my skin when I really just don't like that I'm just keeping it a buck <sighs> but yeah like my boyfriend he's told me multiple times like you're just taking the lazy route, like, you know how to heal your skin, and you're just not doing it, and he's so right. Like, we both know, like, now we all know, like, I'm just, I'm just taking the lazy route, and not putting in the work that I need to be putting in at the moment. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I gotta take them one step at a time and actually my new goal right now <laughs> is to not get angry at things because recently I have just been so easily annoyed again because I'm not taking care of myself so I get like that <sighs> so that's one thing I'm trying to check myself on right now it's been going well I have been doing good, sticking to that. So yeah, I'm just setting one goal at a time for myself, like literally just one goal at a time. Usually I would have like multiple different goals and working on them all at the same time, but like that's too much and too overwhelming for me right now. So I'm sticking with the one goal thing and it's going well so far and I'm proud of myself. I actually literally haven't been annoyed at anything yet. Wow, like there's been so many things and I knew, I told myself like, listen, now that I'm like making this choice and I'm sticking to it, like I know that I'm I'm gonna be tested so I was already mentally preparing myself for that and yeah wow now just like reflecting on it I literally haven't gotten mad at anything like wow I'm doing so good today I want to work on my crochet blanket look at my cat look at her she looks so cozy BAM you can't see the whole thing but yeah this is the blanket that I started on a long time ago it's been like many 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 months since I last worked oh my god since I last worked on this I really only just have like a little bit left I just want to make it a little bit longer I'll show you like a better view of it like laid out on my bed that's the blanket I'm gonna get going on her okay look at this yarn do you see wait it's called um it's the Just Chanel yarn. It's so soft. It's literally perfect blanket material. Oh, I love it so much. I love you. Attack that string. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I did something magnificent this morning. You know the wallpaper that comes with your phone when you get like a new phone and it's like the factory reset wallpaper? Like the new one? This one, I did that, but when you get a new phone, it comes blurred and like if you just go to the wallpapers and then you find it on your wallpaper options, 
it doesn't come blurred and like it doesn't give you an option to blur it on your lock screen only on your home screen and I was like dang like I really want the blurred version like it comes when you get a new phone so I literally spent some time this morning tweaking that and getting like it looking really good and that was my final product it's like pretty close actually no it's even better than what it looks like when you first get your phone like it's more vibrant let me show you again so i'm proud of this and it's 333 look at that divine do you see that i hope it's showing up good i want to like post it on safari you know so then you like look it up i have like a picture that you could download and use but i don't know how to do that This is also like a very good time to just do breathing exercises and just work on deepening your breath and connecting with it and with yourself, with your body, opening up and feeling everything that's going on, honing in on your presence. I'm getting a little peckish and got really bored of the crocheting, so I have moved on. And I wanted something sweet. I have such a big sweet tooth and I wanted something sweet, but I was like, you know what? Healthy, healthy. New Year's goals, eat healthy, take better care of myself. So I am have everything that I need for my vegan cookies. So I'm making those right now. Well, they're not gonna be totally vegan because I don't have any vegan chocolate chips. I can use my milk. Got my vegan butter, brown sugar, the dogs are going cray, baking powder, cornstarch. I've never made these cookies before. This is new. Let's get some light. That's way better. Vanilla extract and all-purpose flour. I think we have everything. Okay, the cookies are done. Let's give her a taste test. Hopefully I didn't overcook them. I see hair. Well. They're a little crunchy, a little overcooked. Well, that's a little sad because they taste good. Okay, I guess I'll package these up and then head to the store. Y'all, she's talking about raw vegan. She's understanding the life. But I think that might be better. So that might be what you want. might want to try. I can get you right, Dad. But you got to want it. Actually, Kristen probably is the one that could get you on a... You got to want it. Because she, she understands that whole process. So she might be your one. She could help me meal prep. He wants to be clean. So yeah, you gotta cut out the process. The organic. I do believe in cleaning it, but cleaning is difficult. It's a really process. But this is not process, this is whole food. You need to get like the yeah. yeah, all that's good. Oh I didn't even do but you saw Kristen, your own personal uh, shop. We can pay her. I don't need to get paid. If you shave the hair under your arms, Crystal, they won't. Smell. Yeah, you're. Yeah, totally, because it's the hair that's making them stand. Sure.